Welcome to Ballin' with Brett, your inside look at Ole Miss women's hoops. Here's your host, Brett Ball. Thank you for tuning in and Happy New Year. Ole Miss women's basketball has wrapped non-conference play at 8-5, and five, and I'm joined by head coach Matt Ensel to tell us about the journey thus far. So, Coach, what has been the di biggest difference in the team between the first tip-off against Mississippi Valley to Alabama A&M? We got a little bit older. Um, you know, we starting the year with just so many young players with 11 of our 13 players um, being in their first or second year in our program. Um, you know, so we've, that, that makes it for a lot of ups and downs in the non-conference, and, um, you know, a lot of that has to do with our youth. But as, as the, conf I mean, um, the non-conference schedule has went on, we've really grown up a lot. And I've seen a lot of growth in our basketball team, from individuals to team. Um, you know, so it's, that's, that's exciting. And so the one thing that's been, that's been big since the first game until now is um, the fact that we have grown up a lot. And um, we've had some struggles. We've had some good times. We've had some bad times. But no matter what it was, in wins or losses, we have grown as a basketball team, and, and we've got better. And um, and we couldn't be there. Couldn't be no more a team with no more confidence as our team has right now, um, as we head into conference play, um, because of the growth that we've had throughout the last two months. You talk about the the incoming freshmen. What impact have they had on the program? Had a huge impact. They played a lot of minutes. Um, you know, you got a Toy Lewis that set a record already in her first year um, with 10, was it 11 threes or what she ended with 10? Something like that in a game against New Orleans. And um, that was huge. All five of them are huge for our basketball team. They're all of them are, are in the rotation. And, and, and I see them continue staying in that rotation. The future is very bright. And the big reason is because of those five. Preseason number, ranked number six, SEC play is here. What does it take for us to have success in the SEC? You know, we, we were we were preseason picked at number six. Was that a little high? I don't I don't really know. Um, was it low? I don't know. Um, and we'll know here in, over the next two months. As I told the players yesterday, what you do over the next two months will determine what this team will be at the end of the year and what people will think about this basketball team at the end of the year. I feel like we have a very confident basketball team ready to hit SEC play. And there's no. This is why you play, it's why you come to Ole Miss. Um, the SEC is the best conference in the country. I think we have six teams right now ranked in the top 25 in the nation. We have a credible opportunity against um, three teams that are, that are ranked in the top 15 that we get to play twice. That's exciting because it's an incredible opportunity for this basketball team to get some, some marquee wins. We can't talk about SEC play without talking about leading a nation and the conference and offensive rebounds. What has been the cause of that? Um, that's something that we've really prided our program on is being very tough and I think tough teams rebound. And we may not be the biggest team, but we can go in there and we can be great offensive rebounders, we can be great defensive rebounders. Um, you know, don't worry about missing a shot um, when you shoot it because we're going to go get the rebound, is what I tell them. Uh, I didn't know we were leading the country in that category until I went home for Christmas. Uh, my dad was telling me, saying that, hey, look, y'all are number one in the country in offensive rebounds. I think, and, and he's talking about his team was number three. I said it must be an insult thing, and so um, you know it's just something that we we work hard on, and I'm very proud of our players because it's an, it's an area that when you work on something each and every day, you want to see results, and uh, we work rebounding a lot, and uh, we're seeing a lot of results in that. And I see it, you know, I see it continuing as we get in league play. Coach, I know you pride yourself on defense. All that added to offense, and you cannot talk about offense without mentioning Shandrika Session and her impact. Yeah, what a what a year she's had so far. Um, she's leading the SEC in scoring. You, you look at her production, um, she only averaged four or five points a game last year. Rebound Ole Miss. Sessom, he's it from midcourt, counts if it goes. Oh! And she makes it in! She makes it in! Um, this year, again, she's one of the most talented players in our league, and she's showing it. We can't talk about the SEC play of the future without mentioning the pavilion. What excitement! has a team had? I mean, we went, um, took a tour before Christmas yeah. break. I mean, what was that like knowing that, wow, we're going to be the first program to ever play in this, in this it, gym? It's an incredible place. It's a place that uh, we can now call home. It's the nicest basketball arena that I have ever stepped foot in. And um, I think when our fans get in there, I think when opposing teams come, 
Um, I can't wait to hear what opposing teams, coaches say about it because when they get in, I think they're going to be amazed. Um, I think it's just a, it's going to ignite energy into both programs. I'll, obviously, there's already a lot of energy in both programs because I have a lot of energy and Andy has a lot of energy. But I think in our fan base, bringing that energy, it's going to ignite that, and that's exciting for our players. Absolutely, I agree 100. percent Well, I'm excited for it. Warmer a game in the tap pad against Vandy on Sunday. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Coach Matt. Until next time, hotty toddy. For more information on women's hoops, follow the Rebels on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.